Hey there y'all, I'm back! I disappeared for a few days. I absolutely had a horrible 24 hour bug that kind of kicked my ass right, of course, after I got off work uh, to enjoy my holidays. Um, but I am back now. Um, obviously I had to discontinue my 12 days of Yuletide Christmas Vlogmas um, for a couple of reasons. One was that I was just so busy and then sick. And then the other was that I was, I felt really like I wasn't planning those through well and um, I wasn't making great videos at that time. So, and I wasn't doing any editing, I was having some technical problems, so today I'm back and I'm going to make a couple of videos now because I'm home and the way I have this tripod set up, it looks like I live in the starkest, most boring place ever. I promise you, there's actually quite a lot of art on my walls. Um, and there are toys on basically every surface in this house that you can't see here. Clearly, I need um, something to make this more interesting. Hold on. Here we go. A caribou. That's Christmassy, right? Yeah, it's not helping. Okay. My, my background is boring. I'm sorry. I am happy to be back with you though. My period this month was at the beginning of December. Not surprisingly, it was right during, of course, all my final exams for my classes. Um, it was basically seven, eight days. It started on a Monday and kind of ended on a Monday. So um, I did keep some notes. So let's just get right to it. Hey there y'all. It is the first day of the last week of the semester and we've got really crummy weather and I have a million things to get done. So of course, I started my period today. Um, I don't really have a theme for this month. I guess I'll kind of make it up as I go along, but I do have some really fun events and maybe I'll piece some of that in here. Period vlog-ish style for you, maybe. We'll see. Either way, welcome to what I wore this month for December 2016. Day one, Monday. I wore this knit topped, knit backed eight inch liner, uh, ultra thin liner by Ragamuffin. It's one of my favorites. I kind of figured I was gonna be starting, but usually as you know, I just spot for a couple of days. So this liner was perfectly fine for at work and then uh, about halfway through the day I switched and put on this nine inch front bleeder knit top Win Pro back moderate absorbency pad by Gator Claw and that night it really wasn't necessary because I was just basically super light um, light flow spotting off and on but I did switch into this 12 inch knit top power shield back uh, heavy absorbency uh, but it's her ultra thin uh, by Grayson Street Emporium hey y'all look at me period vlogging we'll see how long I can keep this up um, it's the morning of day two. I'm getting ready to run out the door for work. I'm kind of aggravated because it's finally not going to rain today. But I can't ride my bicycle because I'm taking my students for a field trip after work. And hopefully it's going to be a great day. I hope yours is great too. I'll be back soon. Day two was still super light and I just didn't feel like wearing a cup yet um, because it was so light. So I wore this 11 inch curve style moderate absorbency pad with a crushed velvet top and uh, I don't know what this fleece is that she uses. It's super soft uh, by Novel Red. And that evening um, through the night, still super light, so I wore this 12 inch heavy absorbency cotton top anti-pill back by Strawberry Alarm Cloth. Hey 
y'all. So it is day three, um, kind of. I literally had like nothing happening with my period last night or this morning. So just heading out to work and hoping for the best. Day three, um, finally kind of starting to have a more moderate flow, but off and on. So I didn't really feel like wearing a cup yet. Um, I wore this. 10-inch uh, front bleeder style heavy absorbency cotton top anti pill back uh, pad by sugar and spice pads and that night I started to feel you know cranky and I knew something was up um, so I wanted something cozy and I hadn't worn this in a while so I wore this um, minky topped uh, wind, wind pro back Moderate Absorbency Pad by Eco Hearted. Hey y'all, I just got home from work and it was pretty uneventful day in terms of both my period and work, which is good for Wednesday. So I'm going out to games night and perfect timing. I got new hair bows in the mail from Mandy Wolf at Macy's Clip Frenzy and I'm gonna put this Golden Girl one on my hair right now the second yeah I am hey babe what do you think of my new golden girls hair bow it's cool. Thursday started out moderate so I absolutely knew I had to be in cup mode uh, getting through finals and testing with my students um, so I wore my very favorite Goldilocks cup, Lunette size 2, and I wore it with this 9-inch, uh, 10-inch, 10-inch, uh, OBV topped, Win Pro backed, moderate absorbency pad by Tortoise Wings Things. And I did, at some point during the day, and I didn't make a note of why, take this cup out and just switch to this um, 14 inch, 13 inch cotton top wind pro back uh, moderate absorbency pad by Leak Freak. That night, my flow is still moderate. Um, so I'm not sure why I decided on such a heavy absorbency pad, but I did put on this 14 inch versatile pattern ultra uh, ultra flare super flare extra flare it's got a lot of flare um, minky top in her signature print wind pro back heavy absorbency by ragamuffin Friday was an adventurous day for my period I knew I was gonna have a heavy flow day so I wore my lunette cup size one all day however me and my very favorite, beloved, Lunette Cup had a rough day on Friday because during the day, this cup overflowed twice and, and, y'all, I don't know if I can tell that story yet, hold on. First of all, in the morning, put in my Lunette Cup, no problems. I wore this knit topped, oh, fuzz. Knit topped, um, wind pro backed, front bleeder style pad by Red Tag Vadrags. This is the 10 inch, I think. Sorry, I didn't bring a ruler in here. I'm so unprepared for this. Trusty Lunette cup, overflowed. Awesome, no problem. Um, switch to this. Um, 10 inch moderate absorbency peak topped wind pro backed by between the toes cloth John Snow. Uh, guess what overflowed again so I switched pads again to this 10 inch cotton top wind pro uh, anti pill backed Moderate Absorbency Pad by Pad Thai Cloth. Everything was good. Everything was golden. But I felt like I needed to change 
uh, empty my cup more frequently because of obviously crazy weird day of leaking slash overflowing. Um, so when I was out and about at a Christmas party at a bar, I decided to go ahead and empty my cup to be safe. It was a little unnecessary um, because there was very little blood in the cup at that time. So I was like, okay, well, you know, just to be safe, still emptying it and dropping it completely. First time I've ever done that into a public toilet. Yeah, fortunately, not one of those auto flushing ones because I would have cried if I lost my Lunette cup. So that was an adventure. Fortunately, um, this pad, which was held up perfectly well through the rest of the night, and I managed to get home where I immediately tossed my cup in uh, to be to boil and switched to this 12 inch uh, OBV top twin pro backed Ulti Mini by Homestead Emporium. Saturday morning, it was a big day. We were getting ready to go out for the boat parade um, at the marina, so I was very excited, but you know my history with being on the sailboat on my period. So I literally like brought like almost every reusable product that I own, and um, it, I had a, this giant bag, and I think my partner was like, uh, what, what ex exactly is going to happen today? Anyway, it's just because I was paranoid because I've had so many adventures, and it was a good thing I was prepared. Uh, so that day uh, to go out uh, for the morning, for the morning before we went out to the sailboat, I hung around and drank coffee wearing this 11 inch peak topped wind pro back moderate absorbency pad by Ragamuffin and Pennywise. Whenever I wear Pennywise, you know I'm in a seriously cranky ass mood because I feel like he kind of channels that for me with that face. So. I was in pretty piss poor mood that morning, but all is well. Time to head out to the boat. Hey there y'all. Um, sorry, I've disappeared for a couple of days. I had to get through the end of the semester. Um, so I haven't been period vlogging for you. A lot of actually really interesting things happened that I'll tell you when I'm home and filming my what I wore this month. And by interesting, I mean gross and unexpected and probably very entertaining for you. Um, but in the meantime, this is day six and basically all hell has broken loose with my period, but my semester at work is over and it is Saturday and it is time for a Christmas boat parade with all of our friends out here at the marina and we're going to camp out tonight on the boat and hopefully not freeze. So I'm going to tell you all about that um, after it happens and I'll share a couple of little clips with you. We're playing music, we're drinking some hot apple cider, uh, possibly spiked. It's the holidays. Um, and you hear the hubs playing some lovely music for us. So I'm gonna let you go and I will see you very soon. I decided to give this Lily Cup another shot and I wore it with this 11 inch cotton top when pro backed heavy absorbency by crimson is the new black oh my god there's so much cat hair overflowed slash leaked uh after four hours so i was done with this cup for this month but since i had brought with me like everything i own i was decided to switch back to my nemesis the large lena cup and we're on the boat, so I cannot be risking any more of these leaks or anything, so I wear the large linen cup with this 11 inch moderate absorbency, heavy absorbency? Mm. Uh, it's, it's a heavy absorbency. Um, peak topped wind pro backed by Ragamuffin. And they match. I'm a dork. I don't know what I'm doing. And all was well with that. All was completely well with that for for really um 
basically the entire rest of the day. So after last month, I guess we are now in negotiations, me and the Lenica. And to sleep that night on the boat, I wore this 14 inch heavy absorbency minky top wind pro bag. So cute, so cute. Space Cats Pad by Ragamuffin. So cute. Sunday morning, woke up on the boat. Whew, feeling rough. But it was still a nice day out, sunny, and I uh, woke up and we were cleaning up to go home. I uh, decided to give my Super Jenny a run because I didn't wear it at all last month. Super Jenny small. And I wore that. Oh, this one's stained. Sorry. I'll try to. This one's stained. Sorry. I wore that with this uh, 10.5 inch diamond style front bleeder cotton top wind pro back by Leak Freak. Um, wore that until we got home and then in the afternoon to lounge around the house. Everything's kind of lightening up now. Um, I wore this 10 inch cotton top wind pro back moderate absorbency pad by Royal Maze Fluff. And also, um, that into the evening and I just ended up sleeping in it that night um, this 10 inch peak top wind pro back moderate absorbency pad by gator cloth and Monday morning I was still super light and just kind of tapering off to the end so I wore um, this knit top knit back ultra thin liner by ragamuffin and uh, I actually was, I still had an unexpectedly um, heavy flow, so I actually bled all the way through this, which has absolutely never happened, and I normally only wear this as a daily wear liner, but I have to say it still did um, really well considering my surprising amount of flow. Of course, as soon as I switched to a moderate absorbency pad, I basically stopped bleeding altogether. Um, this is a cotton top flannel back. Um, moderate absorbency pad by Love My Custom Cloth. On my way home on my bike that afternoon, I switched to this OCV topped front bleeder style liner. It's a, it's actually a liner, but because of the OVV, it's thick enough to be kind of like a light pad um, by Between the Toes Cloth. Accessories I used this month. I went kind of crazy on a couple of occasions. So I used basically like all, I think I used like, I think I used all of the wet bags that I own. I certainly of course used my large Doctor Who wet bag. And when I went to the boat, I used this um, medium size wet bag by Cuddle, Bloss Cuddle Blossom Cloth. Um, during the week at work, on a different occasions, I took different things. My favorite uh, two-pocketed wet dry My Little Pony bag by Love My Custom Cloth. And um, this kind of standby PUL line uh, bag from some China Cheapies I got on Amazon a while ago. Uh, I had several nights that I went out to bars with small handbags and on those occasions I just took pad pockets. This one by Krabby Patties, and this one by Honeymoon Reusables. At some point, probably on Friday, I used this OBV IL pad by Between the Toes Cloth. And I used these two cup spots, both of were made by me. That's all my accessories. 
Thank you all so much for hanging around with this extra long what I wore this month video. It was a fun and adventurous week. Um, had my first... I had much better experiences with cups this month, regardless of the whole dropping in a toilet thing. Um, and overall, I only had bad cramps one day, and fortunately my coworkers... I only had um, really bad cramps one day this month, which was nice. And overall, it was not too shabby of a period. I'm happy to share it with you. Thank you, of course, for watching. And I will see you soon. Twenty four pads, one IL pad, and four cups. <laughs>